People of Oshun State have called for speedy prosecution of perpetrators of sexual and gender-based violence in the state to serve as deterrents to others. Stakeholders in the state, including traditional rulers, law enforcement agents, community leaders and members of civil societies, called for speedy prosecution of perpetrators of sexual gender-based violence in the state. They made the call in Oshogbo, the state capital, during the sign of of the Technical Action and Sustainability Plan on Prevention and Response to Women and Girls with Disabilities in the State. The Technical Action Plan was developed through a collaborative process involving various stakeholders including government agencies, CSOs and NGOs as part of efforts to address critical issues such as awareness, capacity building and the provision of psychosocial support services to victims. The director of Center for Women's Health and Information at Tinuke Odukoya noted intersection of gender disabilities and poverty increases the vulnerability, the vulnerability of women and girls to gender-based violence differently from other individuals in the population. A prominent traditional ruler in the state, the Oragun of Okeila, Oba Adedoku Abolari, charged police and state ministry of justice to ensure that perpetrators of sexual and gender-based violence face the full wrath of the law the police public relations officer for ocean state police command yemisi okpalola assured that perpetrators would not go unpunished what the document has done is to get a lot of stakeholders key stakeholders to commit to ensuring that the state is safe and that women and girls with disabilities are not abused either sexually, um, physically or otherwise. The document looks at different things, but since you've spoken about the justice part of it, what the document has is that you would see that all of the ministries, justice, health, um, women, children and social affairs, special needs, are all a part of this. What we try to do is to ensure that there's strengthened coordination and collaboration against all, um, amongst all of the institutions that are responsible for ensuring that there is no longer gender-based violence against women and girls with disabilities. In this document, every stakeholder has committed to what they will be doing. So one of the things that the Ministry of Justice has said they will be doing is speedy trials um, as far as cases of gender-based violence is concerned. So I believe that when that happens, it's going to um, support and ensure that there's justice for survivors beyond women and girls with disabilities, but survivors in general. After all of this girl did to this little girl, along the line you see that your hands are tied. You see that your hands are tied. That's the kind of society that we live in. The rule of law must be sacrosanct. The rule of law must be healed. Let the law prevail. But in our society, it's difficult for law to prevail. Some some external forces will come to play, and before you know it, your hands are tied, and that is the pain of the Nigerian society. We must work together. Uh, we want to assure the members of the public that no of such innocent crime will be spread on, under the carpet. Uh, we are really working seriously, assiduously on it. And many has been, you know, arraigned at the court of law concerning these kind of uh, crimes and criminal activities. It will never be swept under, under carpet at all. Because uh, even the law that has been, you know, enacted in the state, the law, uh, the VAP law, even give us um, more power to work on such a... Uh, such cases. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.